I just read the most craziest story about the Powerball. Okay, so there was a, a man named John Cheeks, and he lived in uh, Washington, D.C. He plays the Powerball, okay? You know, figures there's no chance he's going to win, whatever. He didn't even check his ticket, right? Goes to sleep, you know, the next day he wakes up, <laughs> okay? And he checks the, uh, I guess, the Washington, D.C. Uh, lottery uh, webpage, and his numbers are up there, that he's the winner of like over $300 million on the Powerball. Guy's flipping out, going crazy. Goes down to the uh, Washington, D.C., you know, lottery office, basically thinking he's going to be a multi, multi, multi-billionaire. And they tell him, your ticket is worth nothing. So the guy's like very confused. Like, what are you talking about? He goes, there's a trash can. They were talking about the lottery office. You see that trash can? Yeah, throw that ticket away. It's, it's worth zero. He's like, excuse me, I have every single winning number I just won over $300 million. They said, your ticket is worth nothing. Okay, so he goes, he gets an attorney. He's like, this is crazy, right? So the attorney determines that on the live broadcast, there was, in fact, different numbers. So John Cheeks did not have the winning numbers on the live broadcast, but I guess they posted on their website, the Washington, D.C. Uh, lottery website, they posted the wrong numbers. They made a mistake. Now, eventually, they, from what I've read, they admitted this mistake to John the Cheeks. They're like, look, it was a human error. These things happened. We posted the wrong numbers, but we corrected it. We corrected it. <laughs> it's crazy, right? Now, I'll say this is alleged, but from what I was reading, people, you know, I guess I don't know how this works, but certain people who had those numbers that were the incorrect numbers on smaller prizes from what I've read, I'll say it's alleged, but they were able to claim their prizes. You know, if they woke up bright and early before, I guess the lottery realized that they made a mistake. This was according to, you know, I read the uh, Fox news article. So in other words, let's say someone won like 20 bucks or 50 bucks or a hundred bucks. They were able to claim those small prizes. The people who had like the numbers that John cheeks had, or, or like maybe four of those numbers they were able to get smaller prizes. So what's your opinion? Is that crazy? Something should, like, the lawyer was like, look, something's got to be done about this. You can't just let, like, this this poor man who, who saw that his winning numbers were on the website, you can't l let him go away with zero. That's what they're doing. So he's suing uh, the Powerball. He's suing the, you know, Washington, D.C. lottery. We'll see what happens. But God bless that man. I can't even imagine how that must feel. I would flip. The F out. Video is definitely not financial advice. Not a financial plan. Videos for entertainment purposes only.